all right so the quiz was assigned and the student has submitted the quiz now the point is that we need to release scores to the students so again what we do is we go into the quiz we access the individual part and then we go to each student so this is the first so let's say this is a one-on-one -on -one. this is a one-on-one -on -one. now here the question was which of these are input devices the person entered one answer right but he could not select the other one so if you want you can give the person one mark here and we do save okay now here the person has said creation of energy for plants so let's give the person one mark again i mean obviously this is up to your discretion how you would want this to happen now here critically analyze the character of robinson crusoe so giving two marks here and save all right so the person scores six out of ten now to release the score to the person what you just need to do is click on release score so we select the person and then we say send emails and release now with this what happens is that the person receives an email and he is notified of the points now if you go to your quiz section over here of course we have now entered the marks so this is another way that you can adopt you can also write the marks here so let's say i give the person six and i say return you can also add a private comment here if you want so let's say try harder next time and then you click on return okay so this is how uh, these are the two ways that you can actually use to release scores to the students now getting back to the grades part now you can see till now we have marked an assignment that was 10 on 10 and we also marked the quiz and that was six this is the class average of course which belongs to just one student when you'll have more students you will see more marks here so this is how a complete grade book is being maintained now one last thing that you can do is create a question this is very simple again Again, you have the options to add any files or any links that you would like, or you can simply post a question. So let me write a simple question, like implement linear regression in Python. So this is a short answer question. Again, you can select multiple choice or short answer. And what you just have to do over here, let's assign it some marks. Let's say I give it 10 marks. Again, the same thing. You can, if you want, ask it right here. Or you can schedule it for a later time. Or you can save this draft at this time and not post it. Or you can simply discard the draft. So let's do an ask this time. So what happens is, that this question will be posted right now so this is the question that has been posted now if i go to my uh, students section you can see that a new question has been posted now here you can type in an answer so you type some code here corresponding to the answer you click on the student clicks on hand in so the student replies and getting back here you will see in a while that answers will come up so this is a short question and answer session.